Introducing CorelDRAW Graphics Suite 2024, your gateway to endless possibilities for creative expression without hindering productivity. In this video, I'll highlight some of the new features and enhancements. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find links in the description below to see a complete list of updated features and enhancements, start a free trial of CorelDRAW, and watch in-depth tutorials that explore these topics. Built on world-famous Corel Painter Brush technology, the Painterly Brush Tool is a graphic design game-changer. Unlike brush tools in other applications that are either vector-only or pixel-based only, the Painterly Brush Tool combines the best of both worlds, a pixel-based brush tool that is controlled by vector curves. The Painterly Brush Tool is now the first tool in the Artistic Media Tool Group. When activated, the property bar features a brush picker, which lists dozens of brushes in several categories. Each category can be expanded and collapsed. Hovering over each brush displays a preview below the list. To apply a Painterly Brush Stroke to a selected vector object, simply choose the brush. Once the effect is applied, you can adjust the size and transparency. Then apply an outline color to the object. With nothing selected in advance, choose a brush and click and drag to create a painterly brush stroke from scratch. Painterly brush strokes are non-destructive, which means you can use the shape tool to adjust nodes along the vector object and the brush stroke updates to fit. Or select the object with the pick tool and resize, move, or rotate. Clicking Clear Brush Stroke in the property bar removes not only the brush stroke, but also the object outline. To get the object back, simply apply an outline thickness. Painterly brush strokes can be applied to text as well, and editing the text updates the brush stroke. You can now access remote fonts such as Google Fonts directly in Corel Draw and Corel Photo Paint. Remote fonts are enabled by opening the font list, opening font options and choosing font list options, and checking Enable Remote Fonts on the Fonts tab. Now the font list displays a cloud icon for online fonts that aren't downloaded and installed, as well as any font that's found on your system but not installed. For example, Arvo is a Google font family, and each font can be previewed when hovering. Choosing one of the fonts for use automatically downloads and installs the font. Returning to an installed font shows that the cloud icon has disappeared. If you don't want to see remote fonts in the list, open the font filter and check the box to hide remote fonts. In CorelDRAW, this feature also saves you time when opening a document containing fonts that are not on your system or fonts embedded in the file but available in an online library. Those missing fonts are automatically installed eliminating any font substitution steps. The non-destructive bitmap effects workflow has been streamlined to provide a consistent, hassle-free experience. In CorelDRAW, adding a bitmap effect from the Effects menu now automatically opens the FX tab of the Properties Docker or the Properties Inspector on the Mac. Here you can access all tools and settings for these non-destructive effects for quick real-time adjustments and endless experimenting. In Corel Photo Paint, the effects docker has been reorganized to serve as your one-stop shop for non-destructive effects. In both products, you can apply multiple special effects to the same object, toggle individual effects on or off, and reorder effects. With a single click, you can reset an effect or flatten all effects. Browse through a whole new selection of 300 customizable cloud templates, exclusively for subscribers and trial users. Craft beautiful brochures, logos, infographics, web graphics, and more, with double the creative templates available to subscribers. As with every release, we continue to focus on product quality, performance improvements, and addressing top customer requests. Several improvements have been added to this release based on loyal customer feedback, including driver update notifications, 
intuitive file names for recovered documents, and more. Here are a few other enhancements that were first introduced to subscribers in the September 2023 subscriber update and are now available in CorelDRAW Graphics Suite 2024 for everyone. With Focus Mode, you can isolate a single object or group of objects in order to edit only those elements of your artwork. Right-click on the object you want to edit, either directly in the workspace or in the Objects Docker or Inspector, and choose Bring into Focus. This keeps the selected object in full display and full color, even if other design elements are placed above it. All other objects are faded in the background and grayed out in the Objects Docker as well. Double-clicking while the Pick tool is active is another way to bring nested groups or single objects into focus. Any added objects will be added to the group currently in focus. Note that this double-clicking feature is the default behavior, which can be disabled in the settings. And editing a focused object is a snap. The floating breadcrumb toolbar lets you know where you are in the group hierarchy and can be used to drill back out. If you use focus mode on an object that's not part of a group, a temporary focus group will be created. If no objects are added, the temporary group will disappear when you go back one level. But if objects are added to a temporary focus group, that group will remain. With CorelDRAW's advanced print merge workflow, variable data print jobs are now much easier with support for Excel data, as well as files in CSV, TXT, or RTF formats. Start with a time-saving template for a document, such as a business card. To link this file to the Excel data containing employee details, choose File, Print Merge, Create Load Print Merge. Then click Import Data Source and link the data file. Make changes directly in the Configure Data Source window, Rename or delete columns, or add a column for data stored in another file. This added column is for profile photos, which are listed as path links. You can also add or remove entire records. Clicking Continue opens the Print Merge window. Each data column is listed in the dropdown, and you can easily insert print merge fields for employee name, title, email, and extension. Then set the correct formatting properties and locations for the print merge fields and replace the original text objects. Image print merge fields can be brought in the same way, choosing one image as a placeholder for sizing and placement purposes. You can also create QR codes for print merge websites. Click Create Merged Document and a new CDR file is generated with one page for each linked record. The Assets Docker has been redesigned to provide a familiar and intuitive method for browsing files. Clicking the Browse icon opens a tree folder structure with two resizable panes. Choose a folder in the top pane, and thumbnails of the assets in that folder are displayed in the Content pane. With the Enhanced Export workflow, it's easier than ever to output objects and pages. The Export Docker, or Inspector, has simplified options to export the selected objects, the current page, or all pages. New export formats have also been added, including Bitmap, CorelDRAW, Computer Graphics Metafile, Adobe Photoshop Document, and Google Web Picture. Finally, PDF import capabilities have also been improved. Open a PDF directly, and the resulting CDR file has improved text flow and editability, plus improvements to the preservation of formatting elements, columns, paragraphs, and more. This brings us to the end of this video on what's new in Corel Draw Graphics Suite 2024. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find links in the description below to see a complete list of updated features and enhancements, start a free trial of Corel Draw, and watch in-depth tutorials that explore these topics.